I'm Chong Yun Zhang. Exploring the changes in elementary student physical activities during COVID-19 pandemic. Here is my index. During the initial COVID-19 crisis, it is uncertain how adolescents are using technology to connect to, to peer, how they are using social media, the extent to which they are monitoring the latest news, or how much daytime they are devoting to schoolwork, yet these behaviors will likely play a role in dealing with the pandemic-related stress. According to the prolonged social and physical distance due to COVID-19, people feel fear of infection and feel not only anxiety but also physical abnormalities caused by excessive stress. The student is said to have a very high level of stress by tightness due to refraining from going out. Vague anxiety over infection, disconnection of relationships due to social distancing, and reduction of communication. This psychological stress phenomenon first appeared in children and adolescents. When a social crisis occurs, the ripple effect of the social and economic shock results from the crisis does not affect the number of society equally. It is difficult for children to independently lead social and economic life and they are still in stage of physical, mental, and emotional development. Therefore, they are not only more vulnerable than adults in a social crisis situation, but are also more affected by religion, families, environment, social groups, places, and ethnicities. In addition, the impact of COVID-19 on children amid global pandemic is not limited to the direct health impact of COVID-19 infection. In era of coronavirus infectious species 19, the environment for physical activity inside and outside of school is worsening and the problem of physical activity among children is depending. Previous studies suggested that promoting physical activity and reducing certain behavior can protect the mental health of children. Children's physical activity has a positive effect on adolescents and adults and is proposed as a useful way to overcome psychosocial problems. This report that physical activity or participation in sports is related to fear, acceptance, depression, and aggression of children and adolescents through several empirical studies. In addition, According to a study on physical activity in children and adolescents, physical activity during that period was an important contributing factor to the level of physical activity in adults. WHO recommended that children should do at least an average of 60 minutes per day of moderate vigorous intensity, mostly aerobic physical activity across the week. Also, vigorous intensity aerobic activities as well as those that strengths muscle and bone should be incorporated at least three days a week. The impact of COVID-19 pose multiple risk to children's life, safety and development. Mitigating these risks requires information action, social responsibility, and solidarity. Understanding the level of impact on your mental and physical health, at a minimum, should be your top priority if you want to act decisively. However, preliminary data from cases observed in China and 
the United States report that the direct impact of COVID-19 infection on children may not be a major concern. At the same time, children may struggle with the psychosocial influence and change in their normal living environment. It is very important to perform physical activity continuously and it must be continued for the growth and development of children, even in a pandemic situation. Therefore, <clears throat> this study is to investigate the amount of physical activity of elementary school students who are active at home due to online classes during the COVID-19 pandemic. <clears throat> <clears throat> the participants of this study were conducted using an online questionnaire platform targeting elementary school students <clears throat> who took concurrent classes for every day due to COVID-19. <clears throat> A total of 924 <clears throat> data were used for the final analysis excluding those who agreed to the study but did not respond in sincere or army. <clears throat> Their age from ranged from 11 to 13 years. There were 204 in the first grade, 432 in fifth grade, and 247 in the sixth grade. <clears throat> The research obtained the cooperation of the school, physical education teacher, and homeroom teacher in advance and consulted with the parents for guidance <coughs> and online survey. Next, an online guide was sent along with an explanation of the purpose of the study and consent to participated in the study. <clears throat> Physical activity was visual using leisure time exercise questionnaire by Goldie and Shepard. The questionnaire is an overall assessment of a participant self-reported user level of PA. It was collected the self-reported data for vigorous activity, moderate activity, and mild activity. Vigorous activity is defined as something that makes your heart beat faster and makes your sweat. Moderate activity makes your sweat a little without getting tired, such as fast working, easy swimming, weightlifting, and tennis. Mild activities, it takes less effort and doesn't sweat include easy working, bowling, fishing, and yoga. The data collected of this study was conducted through an online testimony considering the difficulty in fact phase, connected and social activities according to the level of the COVID-19. Before the start of the study, the research obtained the cooperation of the school. An official letter with the online survey URL and QR code attached to the consent school has been sent. The survey period was conducted from September 1st to 30, 2021. Students who met the above mentioned conditions and want to volunteer participate in this study. The research can withdraw at any time and research ethics are secure by guaranteeing confidentially along with a period explanation that the responses will not be used for anything other than academic purpose. The data were computerizing for the SPSS. First of all, descriptive statistics were conducted to check the mean, standard deviation, squeamish, pulses, 
and frequency of response to questions. For all data in this study, cross analysis was conducted to find out the gender, grade, and physical activity level of participation. The subject characteristics of this study are presented in table 1. A total of 924 participants were included for the data analysis based on the number of returned valid questionnaires and age were between 11 13 years. The grade distribution consists of 204 five grade fifth, four hundred thirty two grade fifth, two hundred forty seven grade sixth. Physical activity are to report in children are reported in table two. The data shows a difference in level of physical activity at the light, moderate and strenuous levels in school from grade. Participants reported that the average weekly physical activity level was very low, particularly for intense physical, act physical activity. A total of amount of physical activity consists of 56.7 for fourth grade, 62 for fifth grade, 63 for sixth grade. Table 3 shows the result of a simple quantity physical activity self reported by gender. This will result in the amount of physical activity of participants who do not go to school due to <coughs> COVID-19 and take classes at home and do daily activities. The results have a wide negative impact on the academic development and the health and physical health of children who are socially and physically isolated due to the COVID-19 pandemic situation and measures for the emotional and physical development of children and youth. Participants had more variable exercises such as working than medium intensity exercises such as fast heart beating or fast working. The ratio of gender to this was higher for men than women. Male students are more naturally participating in physical activities than female students and are more active in participating in sports or sports activities. Male students relieve the negative emotional and psychological stresses for participating in physical activities. However, <coughs> Due to restrictions on sports activities, online classes, and the closure of various sports facilities, it is reported that light exercise then can be enjoyed easily, with parents is more frequent than sprinting exercise. With the school closed and indoor and out of sports facilities, gymnasium, and public swimming pool closed. Children are using online communities or social media for social and physical communication. Due to this change, not only the negative psychological factor of children, but also the physical activity has changed. It is believed that it is necessary to expand the research on social and physical environment changes in children due to the coronavirus pandemic. Still, the participation rate of male students in physical education classes and physical competition activities in Korea is higher than female. The conclusion First, during the Korean pandemic, children's physical activities level according to the grade was higher in light exercise activities or in all grades. Second, during the coronavirus pandemic, male students had a higher level of physical activities than female students. Therefore, in the future, it is expected that children will need a multifaceted approach to the participate in physical activities happily in the face of post-corona. 
Children are likely adults who feel physically and mentally tired due to the ongoing COVID pandemic. Encouraging children to exercise safely, simply, and easily is necessary to maintain their health levels and reduce their psychological pain. Thank you.